I hope everybody's looking after themselves. So a nice quick recipe here. What we have here is a cup of lentils soaked overnight and they're boiling now to soften. The lentils I'm using, I'm using about half a cup of Urid dal or Urad dal, so black gram that's uh, been split and shelled and half a cup of mung bean which is green lentils again split and shelled. I'm using a smaller variety because they cook quicker so you could do this with any lentils you want. Chana dal, red split peas really um, work very well. There's some of the fastest lentils to cook so it's sort of irrelevant what lentils you use. I like to use this mung bean and urid dal, it's a nice mix, you've got the sort of starchiness of the urid dal and then you've got that sort of glossy finish of the mung bean. So I'm boiling those until they have softened. I'm going to blend that into a paste. That has a generous teaspoon of salt and the same quantity of turmeric powder. So tarka dal, this is your dal, dal means lentils, forgive my ignorance, I don't know who's watching this, you might speak Hindi or another language. So for anybody that doesn't know, dal is lentils, that's it, and it's really simple. Taka, on the other hand, let's have a look at the ingredients for that. So this is to make the taka, or tadka, which is basically some oil. I'm using mustard oil, give it a nice authentic taste. Mustard oil is banned for internal use in the UK, which is crazy because uh, in Southern Asia they've been using it for thousands of years without any problems. Lots of people live over to well in their 90s without any problems. So I'm going to be using some mustard oil and I'm going to be crackling this lot up. This is your tartka. What have we got here? Just over a teaspoon of black mustard, the same quantity of cumin seed, I've got a little inch piece of cassia bark, everybody calls it cinnamon but you and I know that cinnamon and cassia bark are two different things. Cinnamon has had the outer skin of the bark taken off so when it dries it flakes and you get that like cigar like texture. Cassia bark as you can see has the outside so that's one thing I am um, learned many years ago to differentiate between cinnamon and cassia so most people use cassia in the recipes get a nice strong sweet taste you've got the same quantity so just over a teaspoon of chili flakes I'm using two green chilies I've got a little sprig of coriander just for garnish and I've got about four cloves of garlic coarsely chopped so we're going to fry those up as soon as our Lentils are cooked and they've been blended and that's just the style I want today. So, you know, with dal lentil dishes, it's unlimited what you can do, what lentils you can use, etc, etc. And this is a little kadai here that I use either for presentation, for mini little dishes, or for seasoning oil. So I'd like to be able to give you a precise timing once you've soaked your lentils overnight. But I don't know what lentils you're going to be using, so if you're going to follow sort of this recipe, which is really, really simple, and it's going to supply a nice satisfying dal fix for me. Um, as long as they're soft, you boil them till they're soft. Use a pressure cooker if you want to speed it up. So these have been boiling for 15 minutes. Stick blender. I'm going to blend this into a smooth paste while it's cooking. So that's smooth. Added a touch more water. Let's look at the consistency. So that's just how I want it. So it's a very gentle simmer just to finish. Colour's great, the consistency's great, so great to dip into bread and there's a lovely roti recipe coming up for something different. 
on the next video. So just simmer that now for about five minutes. <laughs> and uh, that's as simple as it gets really. So it's time to make the taka. So heat your kadai. And I know my cooker's really disgusting and dirty, but <laughs> you should see how many times I clean this cooker. It's just incredible. I go through so much oven spray and cooker cleaner, you wouldn't believe it. So I do apologize. I do a heck of a lot of cooking too, and we all know it splashes. So let's look at the ingredients. I'm gonna need about two or four tablespoons of the mustard and we're going to let that heat up so what I like to do is add the woody spices to start with they're more robust and they take a little bit more heat so the mustard the cumin and the cassia and it doesn't take long at all we've got about another five seconds and I'm going to be adding the the ingredients. So I have a towel ready or, or um, a tea cloth ready to take it off the heat. As soon as your garlic starts to go brown take it off because it's going to continue to be really hot. So I've served about half the dal up so I'm going to be using half the tarka I think it's really important to put, do it live on camera, just so you can see. Good, that's about half. So that's Tarka Dal. There's a lot of misconception about Tarka Dal. It's literally lentils with some seasoned oil, so to speak, put on. I've chopped my coriander up. So, Mess aside, I think you might agree that that's pretty nice. I can't wait to dip some bread into that. And the, the flavour and the texture of the dal is incredible. So a little bit of an impromptu last minute video, but uh, feel free to try it, obviously. Put your comments below. Hope everybody's staying safe. It's quarantine and we're in the kitchen.